Oh, cutie monster, it's raining hard. There you go, sweetie. Okay. Why don't you back up? I'll put it under the canoe for you. <laughs> you could stay under there and stay dry. So I got a sofa down my house here. I'm under. It's a little more dry. What a deluge. It is pouring. Look at these puddles here. The water is just flying down. I look out the window and there's cutie monster staring at me. She is hungry. It's funny how these raccoons don't mind the rain as much as us. But uh... This is the time of day she's coming. She's getting close to having her babies, I'm guessing. Oh, eat, eat, girl, eat. So yeah, the drive home from work was just treacherous. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, a lot of lightning, a <laughs> lot of flooded roads. And um, we just have big puddles in the yard right now. And along the street where the culverts are, that is just uh, all full of water. And I always wonder if any of these guys because I, I see trails going in and out of these culverts of my neighbor's yards. I don't know if any live there. And what do they do when it just fills up with water? They got to get out fast. So there's the other female there. She's the one that hangs out in my tarps. And Cutie came out of the tunnel I thought little Napoleon was using. So I really can't say if they take turns using it or if it's just a temporary uh, shelter form either way it's being used by them which makes me happy I really can't say if anyone's spending the night though so you see I got my uh, painting gear on I just finished a horrible job <laughs> someone that uh, smoked three packs of cigarette a day in an apartment for many years it um well I'm looking for the right color see how dark brown that uh that wood is the walls that should be white were about that color almost. Maybe not quite that dark, but like an orange. And so it requires a lot of washing. I use a product called TSP to break the nicotine down. Then I gotta rinse it. Then I gotta prime the entire thing. And then I gotta paint it. And I throw some nice scent in the paint so it's polishing a uh, turd into a diamond. That's what I always say. Okay, baby, there you go. So that was the first one I noticed being pregnant. Oh, I just saw a little Napoleon bolt <laughs> with that thunder. Let's see if he heads over here. And uh, I'm cornered against the wall, so he's going to have his way with me, I think. Okay, so a little Napoleon went around the fence, went into the tunnel, and just snuck up on Cutie there. So Cutie's growling. <laughs> Because little Napoleon's uh, ambushing her from behind. <laughs> oh goodness. One of them's going to just have to come out into the rain here. Oh yeah, cutie's not liking this. Hi sweetie. You want to say hi to me? How you doing baby girl? How you doing baby girl? Did little Napoleon spook you? Did he sneak up on you? You silly. Oh it's so nasty out. It's raining. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good again. I'm waiting for little Napoleon to come out. Oh, sweetie. Put some in the water for you. Got to always have lots of fresh water for raccoons, but when it's raining like this, it takes the pressure off of uh, keeping all those bowls filled up for them. Plenty of puddles for them to drink out of. There he is. Cutie, are you going to be good to him? <laughs> so he's just peeking out of that tunnel right there. Boy, am I happy that's being used. And it looks like I'm seeing uh, right behind him a little bit of one of the blankets I had in there for them. Like maybe one of them pulled it out. Maybe it uh, got yucky and they don't like that blanket anymore. There you go, cutie. There you go, let's put some in the water for you. Oh, now you're having fun. She's playing in the rain. My knees are getting really wet here. <laughs> and I'm trying to be against the wall as tight as I can be so I don't get soaked. But, uh, oh well, it's worth it. I like being with these guys. Hi, little Napoleon. Hi, little guy. Hi there, little guy. Okay, cutie. There you go. Okay, little Napoleon. 
one more for you too. I gotta go inside, I'm getting way too wet here. Hi Mama Moira, look at what I got. Got some leftover Rice Krispie treat for you. So we got a little bit la left, Kathy, of your, uh, of your dessert that almost won. Come on, Mama Moira. Come on, there it is. Ooh, it's gooey. You're gonna get messy. You're gonna get messy, Mama. Hi there, Gertie. Hi there, Mama Moira. So, you're gonna see some lightning flickers out there. We have tornado warnings just to the west of us, and it's going to be heading here probably within a half hour. There's a lot of tornadoes actually in our area, our signs of rotation. So my wife has the news on. You start hearing some of that thunder, and I really want to see how these guys react um, with this approaching weather. I mean, we're getting really close to it being bad. And I want to know, do they uh, sense that and when are they going to bolt? Because we're already making plans for uh, going to the basement. Now last time we had a tornado warning. We took the 95 year old mother-in-law downstairs and I think taking her down and bringing her back up is more likely to kill her than a tornado. It was just way too hard for her. And that was just a couple weeks ago. So, I think tonight I'm going to get some really big heavy comforters and we're going to go into the bathroom and cover ourselves up should that uh, warning continue and uh, make it all the way to us. The line is kind of coming right our way, so it's a little concerning, but these guys do not look concerned at all, which I find interesting. So, I, as long as I can here, I just want to observe their behavior and see if anything uh, changes with them. What's the point where they go, okay, we got to take cover? Hi, girls. It's all the same girls again. Circus Circus is way out there. There you go, Circus. Ebony. You're pretty big and heavy. How are you going to run away fast enough? Where do you guys go during the tornado? That's what I want to know. You know, I, I'm curious how many in their tree hollows, if that tree gets struck by lightning, I'm sure that's a fried raccoon inside that tree. Look at Moira right here. Hi there, sweetie. You telling Gertie a thing or two? There you go, old lady. So, we're going to have quite a flicker show starting here with the uh, lightning. So this is Bill. Right behind Bill is Nervous Nelly. This is Ebony. That's Chaz. That's Gertie. That's Moira. And these were pretty much the same competitors from last night with the food recipe challenge. And congratulations again to Martina. Martina's going to be uh, facing off with a couple other other uh, stiff competitors in the final round. It's going to be going up against Pecan Pie. <laughs> okay, I see you, Circus Circus. My goodness. I just love how she stands. Look at Ebony. Not afraid of me at all. Okay, here's the sirens. I don't know if you can hear that. So the tornado sirens are starting. I'm going to say happy Oons Day. Wish us good luck, guys. We're going inside now, and uh, I'm going to take some cover. Okay, bye. Oh my goodness, guys. You braved the storm? And look at your dog food is all sopping wet. So these guys knew, even with the sirens, that this system is going to kind of fall apart 
and not deliver a tornado, I guess. Either that or they're just stupid. No more sirens, but man, that lightning is flickering. And it is a lot of thunder out there. I think the worst of it is just to the south of me. Um, be interesting in the morning to see if there were any confirmed tornadoes. Gertie, are you wet? Here comes the wind. Moira is not even phased by this. She's a seasoned pro.